What's up guys? My name is Mitch. Lately online, I've been hearing a lot of how do I jailbreak a PS3 this? How do I use Webman that? And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of understand. When I first got this thing, I genuinely had no idea what to do. But it's not that hard if you have the right tools. So if you're looking to jailbreak a PS3, then you're in luck. Because today I'm gonna be explaining what worked for me, where I messed up at, why hen might be better for some people, and how I back up my own games. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Picked up a 2501A on 4.86, and I gotta say, this was probably one of the most dehumanizing experiences I've ever gone through. I actually genuinely can't believe that I didn't break this thing. And that's mainly because the guides are so fucking old for this thing. Like, don't follow a guide from 2018. I guarantee you it's gonna give you a link to a broken hybrid firmware file. You know, ask me how I know. I either got lucky or learned a lesson and I stopped before continuing and double checked my sources. So stop! This is where you do a little bit of research. This is a guide on how to install EvilNAT 4.90 assuming that you're on a compatible system. Because that's what my PlayStation is on. Specifically because I jailbroke a friend's PlayStation it's on 4.91 and PS2 emulation just genuinely did not work at all. I heard that 4.92 is stable enough, but everything works for me and I really have no reason to upgrade. I'll also say that I installed HEN on my friend's system and that is extremely easy and user friendly, but you do not get custom firmware perks like full access. So do some research on exactly what version you want your system to be on. This will generally be the same process for every version. Now we're officially getting into the fun part. Step one, go to YouTube. Step two, Type in do it all YT. This is the only guide that actually got me jailbroken and consistently works. So I'm gonna highlight a few things about the video. I'm gonna link this video, do it all YT, and then a few other things in the description to get you started. Right here in the first like five seconds, it says follow this guide, not just my video overview. You'll soon come to realize that is false. Just trust do it all YouTube. This guy's a genius. Okay, but also the guide that he gives, it's fine up until custom firmware. So I will give you a link on where you actually need to go and we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Just give me one second. Have some patience, okay? When it's done, close the prompt that pops up and exit out of the web browser. Then back on the PC. I don't know why he doesn't say this, but shut down your PS3 after you do that. Better safe than sorry. Next thing to note, this guide is a couple years old. So you'll find that whenever you click on this link, it may be a little bit hard to navigate. It's this guy asking what version he should download. And this moderator includes the PEX and the CEX version. If you don't really know what PEX means, just install this one. And your download will look something like this includes the md5 and everything you're living large okay look now we have gta 3 for the ps2 and i'm about to show y'all how to back this up and then put this on your ps3 you're going to be using a disc to iso converter called k3b it's very 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 easy to use i'm personally going to be using a laptop on linux but i'm pretty sure this works on anything this is just my only computer that has a disc drive scary noises all right so now gta 3 is showing up as a disc image really just go to your k3b app and now k3b should auto detect your disc just press copy medium press only create image go ahead and save it wherever you want you just have to make sure that it's saving as a dot iso so once everything's good just press start and it'll start extracting your disc now you may be thinking how is gta 3 back on the mac uh, I used a hard drive, but you didn't think about that, did you? Because you only think about yourself. Anyways, if you don't know how to connect your PS3 to your PC via Ethernet, now's the time to learn. After you've hacked into the mainframe, you go to Dev HDD0, scroll down to PS2 ISO, and guys, it's crazy. And pay attention now. All you gotta do is just drag it right here. And look at it go. Four and a half gigabytes took three minutes, 29 seconds. You see it here first, folks. Now back on your PlayStation, using Webman, open Webman setup. Go down to refresh Webman games and XMB. And he's gonna do that, just don't click anything. And you click on Webman games again, go to PlayStation 2, and there you go. <laughs> Let's, let's just see if it works. Let's just see if it works. Now, I'm seeing better performance than if I pirated it. But anyways, you got GTA 3 right at the comfort of your own home. Uh, 
Yeah, that didn't happen. In conclusion, the modding scene for PS3s in 2025 isn't dead, but a lot of the info out there is. Just be smart, double check links, and don't rush into the process. If you got questions or your own horror story, let me know in the comments. Until next time, y'all. Peace.